friend. But I will return. Jesus will we have a, a, a hope. That he's going to return tomorrow. That, that this is the day that God had put. That's our hope. And so long as we can say today is that day, our hope is alive. Right? Now, I will go back to my wife, and this time, Jesus goes to heaven comes back in the Holy Spirit. This time, we're going in the chamber. This time, we're going to have a personal, intense, personal relationship. I, I used to pray without hope. Now, I talk to him. Now I walk with him. Now I surrender to him. We're in the chamber now. We're in the, the bedroom now. We're in the, the, the love room. Now I'm ready to go make love with her. We're, we, we've removed lust. No more lust. You guys cannot find love in lust. Impossible. Now gone. Now ready to receive her. Right? And her father said, I really thought that you utterly hated her. So I gave her away. I thought you were so mad you really hated her. I gave her away. to your friend. And her father would not allow him to go in. Said, I really thought that you allowed her, that you hit her. And I gave her away to your companion. Is not her younger sister more beautiful than she? Hey man, just look at this little one we got here. <laughs> the younger sister. Isn't she more beautiful? Ah, now we go to Jacob's story, and we can go into a deeper level of more family dysfunction. Two wives. Oh, you mean we got two wives? Now yeah, there's the, 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 the Jewish wife, and then there's the Gentile wife. Those who live in the physical wife, and the spirit wife. Jesus was transformed at the Mount of Transfiguration, wherever. He has John, Peter, and James right there. John, Peter, and James right there. Ain't it amazing when we read the letters of John, Peter, and James right there today, thousands of years later. And those three guys said, we saw him. Standing in, in the middle of Moses and Elijah. The middle of the law and repentance. Standing right in the middle of it. Standing right in the middle of it. And he was transfigured solid light. And a voice from heaven said, That day, I'm that day. This is the son in whom I love. Listen to him. Right. Right. Carl says, I got a great thorn in my side, Lord, three times. Prays desperately to have that removed. And he said, my grace is sufficient for you. Three times. My grace is sufficient for you. He stands on the word of God so tight. 
that, that, that. Even though you are going through those problems, I'm still your God. I'm still your dad. Even though you did backslid and you fell down and, and uh, had all those problems, I'm still your God. Still your dad. Even though there are no miracles on earth happen for you, I'm still your God. I'm still your dad. Still there. Still with you. Never left you nor forsake you. It's today is today. That God has me. For you. It has not stopped being today yet. And he's still our God, still our dad, and he's still able to do everything he said he can do. Now, take this younger sister, please take her instead. Samson said to them, this time I shall be innocent in regard to the Philistines. I'm going to die ah, as innocent when I do them harm. Now I'm real mad. <laughs> I was hot and angry mad before, but now that, and I was wrong. He just admitted I was wrong. Cool off. Hate always dies. Anger always dies. Uh, 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 all that stuff is always dying, passing away every day. But did you know your love never died? Your love never dies. Love never dies. And it's our love that can overcome. What? Hot, angry, mad, unforgiveness? It can even overcome a violation of trust. Now I want my wife back. Gave her away. Gave her away. Now I'm real mad. Because of you Philistines and your stupid customs, your stupid stuff, hurting my wife. Now I'm real mad. And everything I do, I'm justified in doing. All right? It says, This time I shall be innocent in regard to the Philistines when I do them harm. So Samson went and caught 30, 300 foxes and took torches and then he turned their tails, lit their tails. And when he had set fire to the torches, he let the foxes go. Standing grain of Philistines in the standing grains of the Philistines and set the fire to the stacks and all the stuff burned everything down to the ground. And the Philistines said, Who did this? Who did this? Hmm. In the fire. <laughs> what <are you> saying? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Moses found God in the fire. We find God in the fire. Meshad, Abednego, Shadrach find God in the fire. Who done this? Who gave you morals? Who changed your integrity? What happened to you? Who changed you? You're transfigured. Now you're like, you know, able to leave tall buildings. <laughs> Who did that to you? Who done all this? Right? Man? And they said Samson. They said Samson. Hmm. Can you get away with anything with God? How did they know Samson did it? They all didn't they Samson did it. Samson did it. That son-in-law to the titman, titan might. Because 
He has taken his wife and given her to his companion. That stupid old man took his wife and gave her away to his companion. Oh, he's all man. He's going to take it out on all of us. He's going to destroy us all. All the enemies. And that's what God says. I'm going to go before you and destroy all your enemies. I'll go before you and do this. And so that's the good news with God. You know how I know he's going to restore you, your life, and everything about you? Your self-esteem, your self-worth? Because he already did it. And I'm just the guy to tell you. He's coming soon. See you next time. <laughs>